first ever televisions were pure mechanical. They involve a beam of light concentrated on an object through small holes at the rotating disc. You can watch the full episode of the video from our previous video. Then the electronic televisions emerged. The Cathode Ray 2. Subscribe to this channel before we continue. The cathode ray tube is a specialized vacuum tube which image are produced when an electron beam strikes a phosphorescent surface. The cathode ray tube consists of several basic components. The electron gun, which generates an arrow beam of electrons. The anodes, which accelerates the electrons. The anode is a positively charged which attracts the negatively charged electrons emitted by the cathode. Positioned further along the electron beam's path. The anode helps accelerate these electrons to very high speeds as they move through the vacuum tube. The stronger the positive charge on the anode, the faster the electron will travel towards the screen. It contains two anode, one to focus the electron beams, and the other to accelerate the beam further. Then the two sets of deflecting coils, the horizontal coil and the vertical coil. Here, magnetic fields are produced by the deflecting coils. Interaction between the electron beams and magnetic field is summarized by the Lorentz force law. According to Lorentz force law, a moving charged particles like an electron, experiences a force when it enters a magnetic field. The direction of the force is perpendicular to both the direction of the electron's motion and the direction of the magnetic field. The angle of the deflection of the beam depends on the intensity of the magnetic field between the coils and the direction of the current applied to the coil. Then the screen is a phosphor coated. To produce an image on the screen, complex signals are applied to the defecting coils. This causes the spot to race across the screen from right to left and top to bottom. In raster sequence. When the electron hit the phosphor coating on the screen, they excite the phosphor molecule, causing them to glow. The color of the glow depends on the type of phosphor used. In color TV, there is red, green and blue phosphor dots arranged in a pattern. So the full summarized process so that one can see the image at the screen is that. At first, the TV receives an analog signal. Which includes information about brightness the luminance. And the color chrominance. The electron guns modulates the intensity of the electron beam based on the brightness information, and the deflection coil positions the beam according to the video signal timing. The electron gun rapidly scans across the screen line by line in a raster pattern. And the beam's intensity is modulated in sync with the video signal. This process occurs at a very high speed. Typically 50 to 60 times per second which gives the illustration of a continuous image rather a series of individual lines. These motherboard of the cathode ray tube TV was very interesting. If you want to know more about the motherboard of the old TV cathode ray tube, why were they using vacuum tubes, and many more? Like this video, subscribe to this channel. Finally, the color cathode ray tube TV had three electron guns red, green, and blue. 
The combination of these three colors at various intensities creates the full range of color seen on the screen. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, kindly subscribe, like and share. See you in the next episode.